In this episode, Sea Change Makers is continuing our series on local food production. Today, we move to North Vancouver, British Columbia. In 2005, Edible Garden Project was created by a coalition of representatives, such as Vancouver Coastal Health, the North Shore Neighborhood House, plus other community agencies and volunteers. The idea was based on an access gap to fresh produce, which was discovered by a Vancouver Coastal Health food security survey. A year later, the first sharing garden was born. From that time onwards, the Edible Garden Project grew from an idea to promote food security on the North Shore to running five sharing gardens, one urban agricultural space called Lutat Farm, while hosting a variety of workshops, volunteer drop-ins, as well as sponsoring internships. To discuss some of the initiatives and other ways in which Edible Garden Project has been managing during the COVID-19 crisis, we talked to Claire McGilvery, Administrator and Program Manager. Thank you for talking with us today, Claire. Could you give the audience a quick summary of what Edible Garden Project is? Sure. So the Edible Garden Project is a program of the North Shore Neighborhood House. Um, and the North Shore Neighborhood House is a nonprofit based on the North Shore. Um, so for the Edible Garden Project, we have tons of different things we're working on, all related to food, um, food justice, food equality, um, local produce, uh, and also sharing that knowledge. So we kind of have three pillars um, that the Edible Garden Project uh, is centered around. So one is teach, um, one is share, and one is grow. Uh, so teach, we do tons of different programs in elementary schools, um, at schools, uh, gardens, and we do programming in the school garden beds, teaching kids how to grow from seed, how to harvest their produce. Um, and we also do workshops for all ages, either here at our farm or at other locations around our farm. Um, SHARE is our sharing gardens program. So that's the portion of our food that we grow for donation to either food banks or other local charities. Um, and GROW is basically what happens at our half acre farm uh, here in Lower Lynn Valley. Um, and we grow produce that we sell at our farmer's market twice a week. So lots of different stuff. Thank you for explaining that. So Edible Garden Project, it's more than a community garden. Can you tell me why that statement holds true for your organization? Yeah. So in a traditional community garden, um, it's a plot of land and each community member has their own plot where they're growing food for themselves um, in kind of like a shared space. So we don't actually have community gardens per se, but at several of the community gardens in North Vancouver, we have what are called sharing garden plots. So this is a plot at the community garden. But instead of being run by just a community member who's taking the produce home with them, um, it's actually run by teams of our volunteers. So we have five different sites uh, around North Vancouver and probably in total 50 volunteers that are part of the Sharing Gardens program. And what the volunteers do is they grow produce and 100% of the produce is donated to local charities. So a lot of it gets donated to the Greater Vancouver Food Bank, um, much of it is delivered to the North Shore Neighborhood House and North Shore Neighborhood House staff will deliver it to um, seniors, elders, uh, families that are having a hard time accessing the food bank because they have to come in to access that food. So they'll do deliveries all over North Vancouver. Um, and we also donate to a women's shelter uh, and a halfway house and several other uh, local charities. So all of that produce that's grown by those volunteers, 100% of it is donated. Um, to people who are having a hard time accessing fresh produce. Thank you, Claire. To learn more about the EGP initiatives and how they've been managing during the pandemic, go to our extended interview at Sea Changemakers podcast.